Hey everyone, my name is Brooke Lantz. I'm a writer, software engineer, and creative hacker with a focus of turning writers into authors. Um, and today I want to give you two tips on, not two really tips, but two things that aren't really talked about whenever anyone gives advice on creating content. Creating content is really hard. Um, but first, I want to address one thing. One thing, one thing that is so, so important is, is failure. Um, Honestly, the the true true failure to me is not trying. We we learn by failure, we improve by failure. Um, honestly, nothing in this world teaches us better than our failures. Um, if you failed, you would you would know that you remember them, right? So when when I created content or when I started creating content, um, I remember I went to a couple conferences and they all told me that how important content is, because um, it is. It is so important to get your, your brand out there, to get people looking at your site, to start building the following. Um, and I remember listening to that and I was like, well, what, what kind of content do I create? And I hear this question a lot, I get asked all the time, like what, what, kind, of, what kind of tips would you give in creating content? Um, creating content is like, what to create is something that nobody can tell you. Uh, it's something that you have to figure out on your own, unfortunately. But there are tips that I can give you um, that will help you. And the biggest thing, one, is to try. Try something, anything. See if it works. If it doesn't work, then try something else. Um, and then two, don't be afraid of failure. Just, f you have to fail. Fail sometimes, it's okay. Keep, keep trying, keep failing. Eventually something will work. And I'll tell you a little bit about my own, my own journey and why I chose what I did. Um, so when I went to a conference, I went to these conferences and they told me all these different ways to create content. One of them said to write about, write about what you're writing about. Um, I was writing about witches about the time. So I was like, okay, I'm going to research witches and I'm going to post about witches. Um, I, if you've ever used something like Bitly, there are different things out there that you can use uh, similar to Bitly. Bitly, I'm not saying Bitly is the best thing to use, but you can look at Bitly to see how many hits you get on your blog or your website. Um, and I looked at my website to see how many hits I was getting. I think I got two. It was not great. Um, and then I, I was like, okay, well maybe it's just because it was my first one. So I posted a few more and I got maybe two or three or sometimes zero. Um, I realized after a while that that wasn't working. So I tried to create some content around like my own life, like giving inspiration and motivation and talking about my own personal life. Um, I actually got a lot of hits on that. like. 300, which was way more than zero. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna write more about my life then, and my like what my motivations and how to motivate people and all of, and all of this stuff. Well, if you know me at all, you know that like my life, my life is pretty. At least, at least to me, my life is very boring. Like I wake up, I take my son to daycare, I go to work, I work out. Uh, somewhere between lunch and breakfast whenever I wake up. Um, I get off work, I play with my son, I put him to bed. Um, I and then I try and convince myself to clean my house. And instead of cleaning my house, I work on my book and my Instagram stuff instead. Um, my house is always dirty, I feel like. <laughs> but I, I realized that after, after a couple posts of creating, um, a couple posts of writing about my life, which was super boring to me, I realized it was some, it became something like cleaning my house. Like, it's just something I did not want to do. And I had a hard time getting myself to do it. So I just never posted anything. And after maybe a year of not posting anything, I realized maybe this was not my best choice. Um, so I heard great things about Instagram, about how it was a great way to advertise. Um, I'm a very visual person. I liked, I liked the idea of posting like pictures of books and pictures of other things. Um, I, I, I really struggle with presentation and presenting myself. Um, that's something that has bitten me a lot in my career and it was something I wanted to get better at. Um, when I was writing blog posts, I spent a lot of time line editing and just agonizing over every line, just taking way too much time doing it. Um, with videos, I was so so mortified about the video that I like, never go back and rewatch them. So I could create the video and I can pump content out way faster. Um, just because I never, I never go back and rewatch them. Um, maybe I should, but I, I, I don't. And it's something that I knew that I, I wanted to improve at. And hopefully, I have gotten better. I, I don't know. You tell me. 
Um, but that was something that I thought was like, would challenge me and help me get content out faster and be a little bit more visual and help you guys get to know me better. Um, I thought that was kind of a win-win for me and that's what I ended up choosing and I've been a lot more successful with it. Um, so if that helps you, I, I hope it does. If it helps you, please let me know. Um, so my tips, one, try, two, fail. They're both, they're both important. You, you have to do both um, in order to figure out your content. Um, please feel free to DM me if you, if you wanna talk further. Um, I, I love to chat, I love to mentor. That's another thing, that's another reason why I chose to do this was because I know that about myself. Like I mentor all the time at work. It's my favorite thing. I feel like it's very rewarding. I love to help other people. I love to connect with other authors. So reach out, um, I hope to hear from you. And please share if you find this helpful. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thank you.